Jorg Widman's Fantasy for Solo Clarinet is one of my favorite pieces from the clarinet repertoire. Widman wrote this piece when he was only 20 years old, and in fact, he played this composition for his audition to Juilliard as a clarinetist. Um, he was, of course, accepted into the program, and he studied uh, with Charles Nydick, who is also my teacher and mentor. I first learned this piece back in 2014 when I was auditioning for Juilliard and I was also accepted. And since then, this piece has been sort of my lucky charm. This piece was the first unaccompanied clarinet piece I learned. I love playing this piece because it unleashes the Floriston and Eusebius in me. Um, at times, it shines a light on the fiery and spirited side of me and also in contrast, the soulful and vulnerable sides of me. This piece also sort of opened the door to the vast amount of unaccompanied clarinet music that I love playing now. It really opened my eyes and ears to the freeness and the characterful charm of unaccompanied clarinet music. Throughout this fantasy, Widman calls for extended techniques for the clarinet, such as multiphonics, flutter tongue, and key clicks. And even for like one measure, he calls for a, a jazzy tone. I can see that he's really experimenting with the clarinet's farthest potential while also shining on the clarinet's strong points. Back in 2014, he was coming to New York. I was thrilled. This piece was on the program. So I was really excited to hear this piece by the composer himself. I remember after the concert going backstage to meet Widman. He signed the front page of my score and he wrote, For Yuna, all my very best wishes for the clarinet and for life. Hope the fantasy brings you luck also in the future. Jörg Widman. Mm-hmm. <laughs>